105,000 children in Gaza with the second and final dose of the oral vaccine. According to the World Health Organization, humanitarians reach staggering number with polio vaccine in North Gaza, Sassim Chan reports. WHO's representative for the occupied Palestinian territory, Dr. Ripi Parkon, has told journalists that between 2nd and 4th November, the polio vaccination campaign reached 88% of 119,000 children under 10. Close to 84,000 children also received vitamin A to boost their immunity. While highlighting on the challenges, Dr. Pipakon stressed that the humanitarian post area substantially reduced compared to the first round of the campaign some five weeks ago, encompassing mainly Gaza City and excluding the remaining portions of northern Gaza. In the 2nd and the, and the 4th of November, so yesterday, 105,000, more than over 105,000 children, actually, 105,000 children, 261 under 10 years, uh, have been vaccinated, and, and, and almost 84,000 children provide vitamin A. That's actually 88% of the target. It's, a, um, it's exceptionally, I think it's an exceptional achievement. Over the past few weeks, some 150,000 people have been forced to evacuate from North Gaza to Gaza City, and the decision was made to go ahead with the second round of the campaign. WHO warned a delay in administrating a second dose of the novel oral polio vaccine type 2 within six weeks could comprise immunity and jeopardize efforts to stop the spread of the virus in Gaza and beyond. According to Dr. Pipakwen, over 100 critical ill patients are to be medically evacuated outside Gaza on Wednesday by WHO and its partners. He said on the eve of the operation, the UN Health Agency will bring these patients who are on the enclaves health authorities prior to lace to one location. We gathered at the European Gaza Hospital and tomorrow and uh, from 6 in the morning, that's the plan, they will be brought to Karim Shalom and then across and then from Kerem Shalom they will go to Ramam airport and the majority of the patient will go to the UAE. We put in this request time and again to bring medical and surgical supplies and medications for approximately a thousand intervention to deliver 10,000 liters of fuel, deliver food and water, uh, you know, and 50 units of blood. The official said majority of the patients will travel to the United Arab Emirates for treatment, while some 13 patients will be headed to Romania. The group comprises both trauma patients who need urgent treatment for their injuries and people with chronic diseases such as cancer. Since the Rafah crossing with Egypt was closed in May due to Israel's ground offense there, only 282 patients have been medically evacuated outside of Gaza. Dr. Pipakon further appealed medical corridors, first and foremost the traditional Rafah pathway from Gaza to East Jerusalem and the West Bank to be resorted, eradicated in the enclave 25 years ago. Polio reappeared earlier this year as waterborne disease amid dire sanitary conditions linked to the intense Israel bombardment. Reporting for African News, I'm Sasum Cham.